is Jared Byers, and I was born in South Carolina. That's where all my family is from. I didn't start playing drums until I was 14. A year prior, I just begged my parents to somehow, you know, buy me a drum set for Christmas, for Easter, for my birthday, whatever, um, and tried to save money and get my own. A huge turning point for me was my parents bought me the drums that I wanted. I would just put in records that I was listening to at the time, and um, that's how I got started playing drums. I started playing with a band called Reliant K. Found out um, through my brother, um, who was already playing guitar for Bleach, their drummer was uh, moving on, getting married, and, and just starting a new job and career, um, wanting to stay home. So they didn't want to take me from Reliant K. Um, I was in the transition period of, do I join Reliant K full time, or do I do something else? I prayed about it, thought about it for a couple weeks, and just felt the green light to go and do it. And, Never looked back, never regretted it. Reliant K's done some amazing things since then, and I'm happy for them. Those guys are still really good friends of mine. Uh, Bleach went on, I've played with them for um, almost five years full time. The last year was off and on. Um, unfortunately, a big part of the end of Bleach was my brother Josh, um, who was a captain in the military, um, was killed in Iraq. and. Um, that's when things kind of got really tough for my brother and I and the band. Um, not just for that reason, but other reasons. And we had already been a band for uh, 10 years and it was just kind of time for us to mutually call it and move on. Got a call from Audio Adrenaline. I've always been a fan of Bleach. I've, I've always really liked those guys. There was a time that when we did the farewell tour with Mercy Me, uh, it was supposed to be just through, through the fall and the tour was successful enough that they extended it to the spring, but Tyler and I weren't on that part because we had already committed to other things, and Jared was the drummer. So that's how I knew the guys, was just being a part of the industry, and I was also, I was a fan. I, was, I listened to Audio Adrenaline growing up. I thought Will was really cool with his long blonde hair, you know? I dyed my hair blonde and it turned orange. He has a great connection to Audio A. Again, he knew Audio in his youth, which is really funny. That's kind of the tie that ties them all together. The last five years, I haven't known what, you know, what to do career-wise, um, music-wise either. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get back into music or not. I've always wanted to. It's always been a part of me. It's it's still a dream for, for me to, to pursue and do. Jared Byers, I had known about through my buddies Honeymoon Thrillers, and, and they had known him because he had played um, on, on you know previous uh, uh, tours with them. He said, I, ta "I told Kevin about you. Kevin remembers you from the past. You know, thinks you're a great drummer. Blah blah blah. So expect a call from Kevin, and just you know think about it, pray about it, whatever." So I went home that night, and I messaged Kevin, and I was like, "Hey, are you guys still interested? We're looking for a drummer with the the new Audio A project." And, he wrote me back the next morning and we met the next day for coffee. Jared is a sweet soul, plays drums like no one else can and uh, since he toured that last tour with us, it, we thought it would be great to include him on this and he was more than willing. He's come to the table in a, in a great way and has such a tender heart and God really, really speaks cool things through him. So we're glad to have Jared on drums. Really happy about Jared because Jared and I are kind of cut from the same cloth a little bit too. So it's good to have like another kind of comrade in the, in the group that comes from more of a indie alternative mindset, you know. You know what's cool about Jared is he's he's a lot like Ben. Uh, he's super nice, uh, super good. Thing. Just got a a really big heart, you know. And I just it was a no brainer for Jared as well. And he looks really cool. Looks like a rock drummer, you know. The first few days um, that it had been discussed among people um, that I'd be joining the band, you know, I would mention Jared to people and be like, oh, I know Jared. And, and, I, and like everybody I, I encounter is like, oh, yeah, Jared's crazy, a great guy. I mean, I know Jared. I'm, I'm thinking, this guy like knows all of Nashville. I've never met that guy. How have I not met this guy, you know? Jared, he seems, he's like just a solid guy. He seems the most like kind of military, you know, of the bunch, like just a good guy. I think he fits that kind of audio adrenaline vibe of, um, you know, just kind of down home and we'll talk to anybody and really friendly. Ben, I love Ben to death. He's one of the funniest guys I know. Um, and to hear him compliment me, it, 
I'm very flattered to hear that. I probably wouldn't be as excited if it was somebody I didn't know. I really like that it's Jared because I, I, I like him and I, I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I still have ownership of that seat, the drum seat, you know, so I'd rather it go to somebody that I know and trust than somebody I've never heard of. I hope I can fill his shoes and make ben, Big Ben uh, proud. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching Audio Drilling on Belief Net. I've had a good time. It's good to be with you. I want to tell you real quick, because my passion's with Hands and Feet Project, if you want to learn more about how you can help, how you can love the least of these, go to handsandfeetproject.org, handsandfeetproject.org, or you can join us, Audio Adrenaline, at audioa.com, and definitely follow us on Facebook. It's pretty entertaining. I've watched it. It's pretty cool. See you next time. Uh, cowboy up. Grow an afro.